Welcome to the Shipless Life Podcast. We are your hosts, Yvonne de la Flor and Severine Nassens, and we are the founders of the Shipless Life Academy. Join us at sheeplesslife.com for a free and exclusive masterclass on sheepless living. We created this podcast for women like you who are ready and eager to live and lead without the herd mentality. Women who are ready to be, not who your parents told you to be, not who the system expects you to be, not who the media wants you to be, but who you can truly become. So relax, step out of the herd for a moment, grab something to sip on and have a pencil at hand just in case you feel the urge to take some notes. Let's get the show on the road. Hello everyone, this is Yvonne de la Flor and this is podcast number 13 and today we have a topic called The Cliché of Female Empowerment. So it's time to relax girls because we're about to talk about this topic that uh, Severine, you heard one of our dearest friends, one of the best, one of the best artists, right? Absolutely. Uh, in Mexico, she paints beautiful uh, master masterpieces, right? And she's doing. Uh, what don't you tell them? Well, Adriana Beltran, she's a, the, the lady that Yvonne is just mentioning. She uh, is painting 25 women, 25 empowered women, um, for an exhibition in March 2019. And uh, we were speaking with her yesterday and she mentioned that uh, a gentleman who's close to her told her that the name female empowerment uh, was bugging him. He doesn't like it. And uh, we were speaking about the fact that sometimes empowerment can be cliche because people think about it a certain way. So today we want to talk about three specific things with you guys. We want to share what empowerment means to us because we are we consider ourselves empowered women uh, we also want to share with you when empowerment goes wrong when when it is misinterpreted or, or misused or misused and then as a third uh, topic that we want to share is what you can do to put that empowerment to work in a positive way right right cool. one yes so I'll start you know for me empowerment uh, for me empowerment is first what it is not is never power over people. It is the ability to take responsibility for oneself 100%, 100% of the time. It is so easy to blame others. It is so easy to be the victim. And I'm not saying about the victim of real case scenarios where you do are a victim. I'm saying the victimization of blaming, of judging, of saying he made me this, uh, he did this to me, or she spoke ill about me. I'm talking real empowerment is taking responsibility for and of your creation, of the way you think, of the way you speak, and even of the way you feel. How about for you, Seb? Absolutely. Basically, you covered it all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> being, being an empowered woman for me is being in control over myself, uh, working constantly to improve. I love that. Uh, doing an, a constant effort to use my personal power for the greater good for myself for my family for the greater good and teaching my daughter how to be empowered in a positive way without uh becoming obnoxious because without becoming a, a b-i-t-c-h uh yes. as people uh tend to think because the the, the negative b-i-t-c-h by the way is bitch <laughs> you just named it yes All right. we can name things in this podcast right? yes yes the, the, the main thing is that empowerment oftentimes is considered as something negative. People will think about empowered women and men uh, in, in general because also men can be empowered. Right. Kids can be, anybody can be empowered. Yes. Um, but it's become, it's become more of a hype. Uh, female empowerment has become a, a something of fashion, right? Yeah. Uh, but in, in general, uh, people tend to think that empowered women are... Um, they, they are pretty obnoxious. They or think bossy. The bossy, the boss lady. <laughs> or masculine. Or very masculine, yes. They, they, they lost femininity or they're very feminist in a way where they will hate men and where they will think that women are better than men, that women are better than others. And I think that's, that's a wrong idea. 
Well, it's an illusion because you know what? When you see someone empowered as a threat, it's because you feel or perceive competition. Mm -hmm. And this is something that has happened a lot between men and women. When a woman is empowered, men that are, are not really in their power, that they don't know themselves, maybe may see a woman that is not needy, that knows how to produce for herself, that is a producer and not someone that parasitically, strategically depends on a man, may see her as a threat because they may think, may, I, I don't know you gentlemen, you tell us your feedback, but they may think that we're competing with them. And something I learned from uh, an incredible teacher called David Data is that the women grow by praise and men by um, challenge. And sometimes if the woman is empowered and if the man perceives her as masculine, they're going to compete with her. But that's the empowerment for us is practically taking responsibility for yourself without blaming anyone. Now, number two, when does empowerment of the woman goes wrong? What do you think? Well, when it goes wrong is exactly when we step into that stereotype of a feminist, uh, a feminist woman taken to the extreme where uh, women will think of themselves as higher class than men, as better than men, as... Uh, or as I don't need men. Or as I don't need men, because that's when, that's we when don't things need them. go wrong. We, well, at least I do. <laughs> we, I mean, I love my husband. I love to have a very powerful and empowered man. Next I am not married, I'm single. <laughs> but I still appreciate uh, and love and appreciate the role of man in our society. I think it's a really powerful role and very needed. Yes, absolutely. I think that the needing the needing the other is not as in a dependence. Exactly. However, it's in a balance. It's a balanced way of, of needing each other. Absolutely. So one of the things that can go wrong is when you confuse empowerment with manipulation. Mm -hmm. You may say, but I can do this. I can do this all on my own and I'm going to prove to them. This goes the same for men and women. The moment you hear yourself say, I'm going to prove to them. Did you see what I did? That you have to defend yourself and prove your power that is powerlessness uh, I have an example of a misuse of uh, power uh, or the the facade of empowerment um, I was told that this lady be very powerful to the eyes of society uh, where it considers power having money and having lots of businesses they consider that to be powerful uh, she arrives to a party and then she finds her 21 year old son in the party. And she starts drinking and drinking and drinking and she sees her son doing the same. And she goes and yells to her son, why are you drinking? You shouldn't be drinking, stop drinking right now. And he says in front of everyone, why do you tell me that when you are modeling the same to me? You are drinking, I'm drinking. I mean, mom, we are the same. So to use your supposed empowerment to demand someone to do something that you are not willing to do is an incongruence that's called manipulation and that's called avoidance of responsibility so be very mindful personal empowerment an empowered woman and an empowered man is never ever a substitute for taking responsibility if you use your power over others or you demand something that you are not giving yourself it's time to do the inner work Let's go for the third thing. The third thing is how can you take the empowerment to a positive way? Uh, and I think that um, the, the Sheepless Life Academy is a great example. Yeah, that's why we created it, of, right? Of using our personal empowerment uh, to share with others the tools that we have received and the teachings that we have received, especially you, Yvonne, that you have been sharing with us. And uh, through the Academy, we can share that empowerment, share these tools for other women in this case to become more empowered because empowerment comes through work right it is it is finding your own power and and making that power stand by itself and being in control over your emotions your thoughts and in consequence your actions right and getting to know yourself so for example something good about empowerment when do you take it to a good deed is you find a problem right and you create a solution for the problem for us the shipless life academy was that was that what was the problem women felt disempowered women felt like victims or women felt like the black sheep of the family 
or ashamed of their own power or they were lacking confidence. So the Shipless Life Academy was born to empower women to take ownership of their shadow, of their inner hidden power, of their inner hidden beauty, and being okay to own all of who they are, the darkness, the light, etc., and provide practical tools where they can make that empowerment a reality instead of only a speech that they can post on Facebook. Absolutely, because it's it's it, it's in depth. It's work that goes really, really deep. Absolutely, empowerment is not empowerment if you do not do, whether woman or man, the daily work. So we have an assignment for you. We're going to start doing this in every podcast or a recommendation or an invitation for a week till we see you or hear you or share with you our next podcast. Be aware where you use empowerment for the good or to manipulate. Begin to make a list of the ways you use your power in your favor, in the favor of your family, as a role model of your children or of your business of humanity, or when you use it because you feel threatened to lose the power of whatever you think you have power of. So begin to investigate how do you use empowerment? Do you use it to become a better human being or do you use it to manipulate others? Anything else, Eve? nothing for now uh just if you like this if you like this podcast share it share with other women and please do share your feedback with us because it's very important for us to know what you all think so we can improve and serve you better this is it for now the number 13 on the sheepless life podcast you have a great day Necesitamos salir más seguido en auto cuyo. <laughs>